So this is the 3D model of the little bookshelf here. I actually made this after the fact. I built the entire shelf just kind of uh, winging it a little bit. And then afterwards I made this model just for you guys. So you can see for visualization here of what it uh, may look like. So the dimensions here, I've pulled a few measurements here. So the entire bookshelf is three feet wide and it's a foot and a half in the middle. So each of the little cubbies are basically a foot and a half tall. And you can see here, it's basically a foot. It's uh, here on the bottom dimension. That's the inside dimension here, this bottom shelf. Of course, it has this little area that jets out a bit for the look. And then the little top piece here right there is seven inches. And that is from the front all the way to the back. You'll notice that I did cut out here a little uh, groove here for the little back piece to sit in so I could staple that along there and have that be solid. So this piece right here in the middle is six inches because this board right here is three quarters of an inch and you can see it sits back and this little panel right in the back I think was a quarter inch so it's basically just an inch shy of this one over here. So the two end caps this one and this one are just mirrors of one another and then this one in here is just you know an inch short everything else is basically the same. And then down here on the bottom um, you can see I think I again this is just my model my exact measurements were probably more closer to three inches but this little piece down here came out to be in 2 and 13 sixteenths, 2 and 11 sixteenths. Again, those would probably be the exact same. And then I would make this little piece up here the exact same as well. So mine are either 2 and 3 quarters or something like that. I can't actually remember exactly. But yeah, that's basically it. So you should be able to build all of this with just, uh, you know, if you have a table saw, the only tricky part here is trying to get this corner right there. You have to miter the inside edges out so that it fits together. Um, but other than that, I just... Uh, cut these pieces out right on my table saw actually so I ripped this down and then and then right here I just had a, a handheld saw um, sorry not a table saw but a uh, rotary saw and just cut those little angle with so you can definitely do this with just some handheld tools too but if you have a table saw it'll make it a little bit easier to rip some of these bigger boards down so yeah that's what the model looks like I actually did everything with just free lay well not free but just what I had laying around the only exception is I had to buy this back piece right here and then I had to buy these little four legs. I'll show you in the video. Whoops. Uh, these little four legs I bought, I think, at Home Depot or Big Box Store. So I don't exactly know a total cost what this would be because I had all the wood laying around. But it wasn't too expensive for sure. And it took us about, I don't know, a full afternoon to build. So it was a lot of fun project. So let's jump right into a few of the pictures here so you can kind of see how that looks. So this is just showing you the back here where I put three of those pocket holes on that bottom. And this is the bottom of the shelf showing how I hooked the bottom with the pocket holes going into the side. And here's my son teaching him how to use the pocket hole jig. And then uh, screwing in these front plates with the little pocket hole screws from behind so everything is nicely hidden. And that's what it looks like from the front after it's all painted and fastened together. So this is the back of the board. This is just the, I think it's an eighth inch thick stuff you can buy in a uh, big sheet. So I ripped that down for the back. And I'm going to stain the leg to try to match this. And this is the color that I found that looked like it was really close. It's called English Chestnut. I think I got that at the Home Depot. So I'll stain this and then show you how close the match is here for the legs. And here is the finished product. You can see the legs there that I stained match really well with that backer board. And then I've also added the four little just strips that I cut down to hold the top uh, two shelves on. I just screwed those into the side so they hold the top two shelves. And then here's my son, of course, posing in front of the little bookshelf that we built. Uh, here it is inside of the house. The wife loves it. It was a great little fun project and just took about an afternoon of some work and paint. So we didn't get out the camera a lot and film the entire process of this build like we do in the other videos I've posted on here. But hopefully this just gives you some inspiration for a fun little bookshelf build. It's uh, kind of a fun little modern look and I uh, hope you learned something along the way. All right. See you in the next one.